Hey guys, Hello. Wel <laughs> welcome to my channel. My name is Injideka. I'm a name is Donald. Donald or Dinaka. When did you start answering English name? No, I can't. I'm, <laughs> from the I'm not starting from the beginning. I'm putting it like this. Donald called Donald Duck. <laughs> so guys, if you are new to this channel, welcome. You are definitely on the right channel. And if you are a returning subscriber, thank you so much for always tuning in. My name is Injideka. I'm a Nigerian YouTuber based in Inewi, Anambra State. So today, as you guys have already heard, we have Donald the Duck with us. So this is my cousin. This is uh, Donald. Donald or Dinaka Chukuma. Yeah, that's correct. Yeah. And yeah, you know, he's been at home, you know, with this whole lockdown and all that, schools have been closed and he's been home. And, you know, we've been wanting to film a video to, um, for a long time now. And then today we're here, we have him here. We're so happy to have you. Thank you for gracing us with your presence. So guys, today we're here to discuss, you know, a really important topic, you guys, a topic that is not, you know, new like to Africa. You know, this topic, like growing up, I'm sure a lot of you watching this, you can relate. Growing up, you were flogged once or twice or multiple times in order to correct you. You know, maybe you did something bad and then you'd be flogged and all that just so that you wouldn't do it next time. Sometimes it worked, other times <clears throat> nothing. So yeah, today today with Odinaka, we're going to be discussing, like, we want to hear from the point of view of a young um, teenager, like a teenager, like what? What do you think, Odinaka? Do you think that flogging as a form of child punishment or correction or discipline? Do you think it's right or wrong? Do you think it's something that should, should that something that has to end, or do you think it's actually necessary? According to me, I think that flogging is right and also wrong but i can say that is mostly wrong mostly wrong yes why would you say that because in the world now most men that are roaming around now mm -hmm. in the world without no job and anything yeah there are more people that felt that i can do anything i want after all after it's only for login. okay so you mean they are that way because growing up when they did something like if they do something wrong they'll just get flogged and they got used to flogging they got used to flog, yeah. so are you trying to say that when you get used to flogging it gives you um it makes you uh, what what would i say it makes you wayward <laughs> is that what you're trying you to say you know what i mean it's just that okay. it's just that already you know that after doing anything bad now mm -hmm. it could be you will not be afraid doing it. Okay. Now, I know that maybe now I could just wake up from my bed and I decide to go somewhere without telling my parents. Okay. I know that if I come back, there's nothing else but either they shut at me or flog me. Okay. So I'm saying that flogging is supposed to be wrong. So are you trying to say that knowing that they will just call you, sit you down and talk to you would make a, a difference? Would it make you change your mind? Would it make you not to go out? It would. You would? Because now you know that um, your mom, if the, if the talking enters into something that you know that hurts your mom, mm -hmm. like if she's talking to you and she says that if you ever try it again, I might kill myself. Yeah. Or if you ever do it again, I will get out of this house. You not see me again. Yeah. Seeing that you can't respect me. You see that if she talks like that, you see it will touch you. Understand that you don't even know yourself. If you want to go out, you just come to her room, knock, Mom, please, I want to go so so please. And she okay. tell you where. Yeah, tell her the name. Tell her when you'll be coming back. Okay. You see you see that after all that, you see that there's no need for flogging. As okay. you can see yeah, he has already shamed you without him knowing himself. Okay. So yeah, so you're trying to say that conversation, dialogue is better than flogging, right? Yeah, that's, that's right. Okay, now with what you've said, do you think that flogging is like it's it's, do you think it's child abuse to flog a child? It's not child abuse anyway. But do you think there's any time it could ever be child abuse? Yes, there's a time it could be child abuse. Right. Do you mind giving us an example? Like maybe you, you are, you, um, you ate. Okay. And you are not full. And you mm -hmm. for your mom, you didn't see her. When you said that you can take, you, you have to use your hand. Mm -hmm. And collect food <laughs> on the pot. Huh? Yes. 
No, I'm talking. I'm talking according to my own story. Yes, I have your so, sleep. So, uh, so you just go support and collect food without hurting anybody. Yes. And you know that you have the maid there. Okay. And maybe the, the maid might be angry that you didn't tell her. Okay. Because maybe I, 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 for your mom, I've, I've shattered at you. I've shattered okay. at her multiple times about it. Okay. So she'll just collect either a mobby stick or a rookie mm-hmm. and design your body. Ooh, without so, your parents' consent. Without so your parents' consent. So at that place, the child abuse. Okay. And also, maybe by by mistake, mistake you just after 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 your mom telling you something by mistake, you, you, you just you just made the let me just say a little comment. A <laughs> little comment without you knowing what you just said. <laughs> but I, I'm I'm talking about maybe yeah. after after saying okay, you know, out of anger, know, out of you anger, say you, know, you know even though I had said it self, yeah, they're asking you say when when is that after they flopped them mm-hmm. destroying your body. You be enter your room, sit down, open yourself. <laughs> oh my gosh! So with all the things you've said, well, what do you think about parents that actually take their kids to military school just for the sole purpose of disciplining them more? Like maybe they're stubborn kids. What do you think about that? And you know what goes on in military schools now? I know now. Mm-hmm. I, 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 at least, at least, I'm one of the opponents. <laughs> I've, I've, I've suffered as well. Oh, yeah. Are you a naughty child? <laughs> I'm not saying I'm not sure. I'm just, let me just say, an average student. So, what do you think? What do you think of such parents? For, for, for such parents, it means that I want to take the child out of the house so that he can have peace of mind. That's what it is. So they I, want to take the child. So, so after that, I call that a madness. Ah, I call this madness. So, taking your child, you know, some people actually go to military school because they want to, you know, in the future, they want to go yeah. into that, you know. Yeah. But some parents, they take their kids to military school just for the sole purpose of disciplining them. Yeah. So you think that's total madness? Yeah, that's you madness. think it's cruel? Yeah, it's cruel. Oh, yeah? Uh, uh, because uh, as, as you as take them there, they don't, you don't know how they are treating them. You don't even know if it's They know, that they know how they are being treated and that's what they want. I that's what I'm talking about. Maybe, maybe you, 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 you show them you need to one child, but you don't know if they need your own child. Because maybe that, 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 that actually might, might, might be smart, smart enough to, to confuse every teacher there. Maybe, uh-huh. maybe, maybe he had done something bad. Because, because of, of, my, of my classmates, I see my brother that did it before. He, he, you see this boy, one of, he's one of the notorious boys in my class, but in, in, in this one bad thing that happens, he'll be there, but not catching. <laughs> so he's smart, smart enough to get away with it. Send your shirt to me, excuse me. For that place that, 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 for that boy, it's for that place that, that he gets bad name. Sending him to military school mm-hmm. can make him have doubt about his self confidence. Okay. If you continue asking yourself, what am I doing here? Am I here to be disciplined or to study? Okay. How can a child come to a place? Where it is it, not meant for him. How can you try to come to a place where, where they, they, they chase you around as dogs, as cows? Yeah, I so in your own opinion, what other forms of punishment should um, should be used these days instead of instead of um, flogging? Like, what other forms of punishment do you think is <laughs> better than flogging? I know, I know some punishments. So, so, so there's what we call it on the air kicking. So there's, there's, there's what we call um what do you call that? Touch your toe. Ha! Ah, these ones are not easy. <laughs> you know the funny thing in my school then in my secondary school, they don't flog you. They will not flog you. They will not even punish you. But then they will ask you to write lines. And there used to be this our English teacher yeah, God. Yeah. The line one one sentence will take like half you know a page, and then he will tell you to write it five thousand times. So you know if it's just one sentence, one line can use two pens and make it faster. But this one, he will, I, Njidaka Chukuma, has realized that my stupidity has cost me to this, this, that. He'll speak one long English, and then by the time you're done, it will like have the page, and then he'll tell you to write it 5,000 times. No break time for you. When school is over, you're sitting down and you're writing your lines because he will ask you to submit it at the end of the day. That's before school lesson is over. So you have to, you can't go home, you keep writing. So, my dear, when you think about not going for break, you know, you can't go home when your mates are going home, and then writing your your hand pain you my dear, you just respect yourself. That one that one is worse than flogging. Because flogging, like Otinaka said, 
you know, children can easily get used to flogging. Yeah? They want to do something and they're like, oh, it's not only flogging, right? And then they just move on and do whatever they want to do. But these lines, by the time you've written lines, oh, you will not even try that, that again. So yeah, Odinaka, in conclusion, do you have any advice for parents, for teachers, teachers especially, teachers that like to flog people's children and merciless? Then, like, I schooled in Kaduna, like, from my just went to my SS1, no flogging allowed in my school. And then I came down to the east, to another school. And the way teachers used to flog, people, my teachers are watching this, you people here, you just used to flog so unnecessarily. And then not just that, so it's not like they'll tell you to bring your hand to flog you. Some of them will flog you on your back, Girls, they're flogging girls on their back, on their legs, getting them injured, giving them permanent marks. Terrible, terrible thing. Like, what advice do you have to give to teachers, to parents, to guardians, like people that, like, flog unnecessarily? Then, so the teachers outside them and the parents um, that, that are watching this, I have only one advice to give to you. Okay. There's something we call trust, giving a, mm -hmm. giving a student trust to trust you every time he has a problem don't, don't you know that all these things um you people are doing if you have a problem you come and tell me if a child has a problem and tries to come and tell you and you chase him away like go first i'm doing something now don't you see i'm busy i'm talking about parents for now don't you see i'm busy after if 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 if, 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 if after that child does do something bad if I, if I do something bad, you said he's going to come and tell you again after after chasing him away for, for like three times. Mm -hmm. So I'm just telling you, most of the bad things that their children, children do that now is because, it's because of the ignorance you give to them. And it's not good. Okay. So if you can just have make, make yourself available to them so they can trust you too. So if they don't do anything bad, like if um, if you want to go out on a date for the first time, and 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 you, and and possibly if they, if they have trust in you, they will come, they come and tell you, and you give them advice. They should go, should not go. And to, yeah. and to, and to the best thing that is that you tell them to not go, they will not go. That's that's that, that, that's that's that's. And that will actually reduce the, uh, the necessity the, the, for flogging and yeah. all that. Thank you so much, Ajinaka, for being here today. We really appreciate your presence. You've taken our time to be with us today. So, guys, you've heard what Ajinaka has to say. So, in the comment section below, tell us what do you think. Do you think that flogging as a, a form of um, correction or punishment is totally important? <laughs> it's, it's important and necessary. Or do you think it's a form of child abuse and so unnecessary? What do you guys think? Please tell us in the comment section below. And yeah, if you enjoyed watching this video, don't forget to like comment share and of course please subscribe if you're not yet subscribed you're welcome to our family we always love you know entertaining and welcoming new people and yeah guys thank you once again for tuning in today and i'll see you in my next video bye